we are back and live here on the soapbox. It's a Sunday morning before a gig. Um, so, wanted to hop on a, on, a, on a soapbox and really just chat about something I normally actually don't talk a lot about. I talk a lot about it sort of via proxy. Um, I, I kind of dance around a little bit, but you know, I'm having a, I get a lot of questions on sort of why I program with the hand plan, why the, the hand plan is a good option, and then, you know, have a lot of conversations around that. So I think the purpose of this podcast is to really break down and talk about why I personally believe what we offer from a programming perspective myself, James Hobart and Spencer Hendel, is truly one of the best products on the market. I also I want to pre- preface this. This doesn't mean I think other products are poor. I just think that what we offer is very difficult to match from a quality perspective, from a knowledge perspective, um, and really from a an experience piece. So I want to I want to dive into it. And so the purpose of this of this podcast is you know really why I believe that the and I'm really I'm, I'm going to focus on the affiliate programming, but we'll touch on the others too. Um, but why our affiliate program I believe is the best product that you could buy if you want to outsource your programming. So let's start with that. Why outsource your programming in in general, right? So there's 15,000 affiliates out in the world um, and everyone is a different purpose. And and we talked about this early on in one of my podcast episodes about um, really the, what is your goal, right? So, you know, that's gonna dictate your business, that's gonna dictate your business plan, all of those things. So, you know, from there, um, I think that your goal to outsource is a few reasons, and, and I would it, it, not everyone's in the same boat, but I would bucket it a few things. One, you have a, you know, if you're an affiliate owner and you are maybe newer to the affiliate world, um, and you know, I think that I just cleaned up some audio stuff here. There we go. It's better. Um, you know, you're newer to the affiliate world and you're looking for some help, you're looking for some guidance, right? You are in the affiliate world and you realize that there might be others out there with more experience and knowledge that you want to be able to share with your members as well. Um, And then, and then you sort of have maybe the other end of the spectrum that you've been, you've been doing this for a long time and you're looking to cut back on, on sort of time behind a computer screen you're looking to really what is your time value and where might it be better spent and really that could be across the board for anybody specifically if you open up a gym but we we see that all all across so no matter where you're at you know again there's there's absolutely nothing wrong with programming for yourself but um you know when i when we break down what we do from a programming perspective it takes us about cumulative eight to ten hours in for one week of programming. Okay, and what we what that what that consists of one actually programming the week, and then from there, which when we program it, we program a workout. We have scaling options uh, and accessory work. Then from there, we have to write lesson plans. Right, those lesson plans are two pages in nature breaking everything down from scaling options for stimulus scaling options for injury then and then really just walking you through a class of you know we 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 touch on you know what you would say at the whiteboard really teeing you up for success then we break down a general warm-up a specific warm-up then we also break down some logistics what to do mid-workout where to focus and then what to do post-workout so it's a two-page full lesson plan for each day for seven days takes a long time a lot of copy there then we obviously got to make sure it, it looks well and then from there we have to input it into the system no different than you would at a gym so that's if you just pause right there i mean what is your time value of money and, and i think that for a lot of people you know all right so there there's a good case for outsourcing really to anybody right that doesn't you know i think that's 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 a good first first piece there as well could you be better spending your eight to ten hours and this is where you might, depending on where you're at, for some people, it's like, hey, I'm going to 
go out and and get new athletes, get new clients. I'm going to go, you know, go to all the local businesses, knock on their doors, offer them free. Like I'm just going to spend time trying to increase and grow my business. And maybe, you know, if your business is nice and mature and healthy and you have and, and you're growing well, maybe this is time, you know, eight hours that you can spend with your family or your friends or whatever it might be. So there's a lot of opportunities there um, just from a time piece. But then really, you know, it's like I will, you know, and I don't like to say this, you know, publicly because I feel like, you know, I don't want to sound like a, a pompous jerk, but I truly believe that, you know, our programming is the best. And it's the best because I know who I work with and I know my skill set and I know the skill sets of who I work with. And there are four of us behind the hand plan. Myself, uh, James Hobart, Spencer Hendel, and Travis. Uh, and and if we think about it, so uh, and just start with the experience between, all right, so James Hobart, he's a flow master on CrossFit seminar staff like myself, been working for CrossFit for 10 years. He's a CrossFit Games competitor. He's a champion. He's an affiliate owner. He's coached for at multiple affiliates um, and arguably one of the best coaches in the world. He co-owns the coach development program with me, uh, coach development program with myself and Denise Thomas. Um, and, you know, He's also the, uh, you know, the, he demos, for, you know, and you notice him, right? So he, clearly he knows what he's doing and, and, and is well plugged in. Then you have Spencer Hendel, who again, you know, been doing, been on staff for, gosh, almost, you know, eight, eight plus years, grew up in a CrossFit affiliate. His father owns CrossFit Charlotte. And then, you know, coached with me, owns an affiliate, now coach, you know, he runs, he runs a One Nation location. Um, so from, you know, athlete to coach to owner to manager, it's just, he's got the experience. He's, you know, I think his best place finish is, you know, uh, gosh, like, you know, fifth in the world, you know, from a competitive perspective. <clears throat> so, and, you know, really just an, an, an architect um, uh, when it comes to programming. Then you have myself, again, sa very similar credentials to uh, to James, but again, you know, running a, a facility at Reebok for 10 years where we see a membership of, you know, you know 400 plus athletes and multiple other domains of fitness owning three other affiliates and, 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 and a handful of other businesses and running the Advanced Coaching Concepts course, the Coach Development Program. Um, so a lot of experience. And you have Travis, who is, you know, he's an MIT graduate. He essentially is the smartest person in the world. And, you know, he, and, and just really looking at things with, from an engineering perspective and a lot of, of those other things. So that's the team. And then from right there, I just, I always say like, I just know, and, 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 and that our purpose is the same. Our purpose is to translate what we know on paper, on programming to our affiliates. Our goal is to deliver an understanding of programming. We want to allow you to implement the programming to the best of your ability. That is our goal. We stick true to the values of CrossFit that we've been doing for 10 years. And, and this is why I think that, you know, why are we the best at it? Because we do it every day. We coach full-time. We coach full-time trainers. We, so we're always getting feedback. We're always learning. We're always getting feedback from the community because we're in it. And when we do seminars, we're, he we're hearing, we're listening, we're delivering, and we're seeing themes. That's why we, we, we really dive into, you know, I, gosh, I spoke to someone yesterday and it's like, the gym I go to, they don't really teach much. We don't learn new skills. It's just all workout focused. You know, and I hear those things. I'm like, and, and I'm like, and I, and I know that. And that's why I wish I was like, if I wish I could say, hey, just give them our programming for a week and then, and then trust it for a month and trust me, your athletes will get better. I've been running my gym for 10 years and with myself and Denise Thomas really doing it for the past 10 years, we've been following the programming that we do on the hand plan and for the, essentially that whole time. And it's very simple. We, and what we've done works because, and I know that because I've been there and I see our 10 year members getting 10 years older, but getting fitter, faster, stronger, and staying healthy and, and injury free. And so this stuff works and that's how I know it works, right? When people are like, how do I know this works? Well, I've been doing it and our people have been doing it and our, and our affiliates have been doing it. And the feedback loop, you know, like it's, we are in the trenches in four gyms every day. So we get to really see it and feel it and we get immediate feedback. And so we, we're not just sort of in an ivory tower pushing out programming that we like this stuff works. Now we, we're a part of it. We all do the programming as well. 
we do, you know, and I can tell you, I do every workout that we program, <laughs> and 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 from there we tweak and learn and grow. But the most important thing is the delivery of of the product, and and we believe, and this is important because if you want to deliver a good product to affiliates, you need to allow understanding. It's something we're continually striving to get better at is how do we give them a workout, whatever that workout might be. And then how do we transmit to them what we want them to do? It's really hard because if I read a workout, okay, we have, you know, it, uh, we worked out this past week was quicksand. It was you know, deadlifts at 225 and it was in box jump, burpee box jump overs. Great. So from there, the biggest thing is we need to teach people the stimulus of the workout so everyone gets scaled appropriately. And then for, and, and in turn, we need to make sure we have a class set up is where we have a, an opportunity to teach a deadlift, warm up a deadlift and, and go from there. And so we then need to give you progressions. We need to really hammer home how do you, when you coach your class, or how are you gonna teach the deadlift, but then what are you gonna look for to get people scaled correctly? Because the programming is useless unless it's scaled and implemented properly. Imagine if I said, hey, you're gonna do this workout, but if you can't lift 225 and you can't do a burpee box jump over 24 inches, then you can't do the workout. That's the extreme case, you know. And again, talking to someone the other day, they said, you know, like, you know, I, we never learn how to prep. We never learn how to climb rope. And it's funny, you come to my gym, and ninety-five to ninety-eight percent of our members can climb rope. What makes my gym and, and gyms alike different than those that can't? We simply teach it, and we give them practice. Everyone has the opportunity to learn how to climb rope. And we scale them progressively. We get them from day one, maybe they do a pull to stand, to day 100, they're, they're climbing the rope. And equally as much, our, our advanced athletes are learning how to climb legless with, the, with different types of kips and, and different types of descents down. So that's another thing that we, that, that we really try to separate ourselves with is that we're not a, a program that conforms to a lot of what you see like the fitness industry kind of falling into. Now, in a lot of CrossFit gyms, like we're going to program low skill movements. We're going to program workouts where you just sweat all the time. And we're going to just become another one of the boutique fitness gyms that really lose a lot of your identity. Because that's really easy to do, and if you want to do that again, I don't have anything wrong with that. But that's not who we are. So, th I, and I'll say that right away to anyone. But you know, I, what we are is we're true because true to CrossFit and the stimulus, we are growing and learning and applying feedback. But if, yeah, we're going to handstand walk. You know why? It's fun and it's challenging. And I can get my fifty and sixty year old members in some version of a handstand walk, and maybe it's a bear crawl for that day. But remember this. Getting someone to do something for the first time, like we've talked about in predicated episodes, is such a powerful thing. When I get a 50-year-old to kick up to a handstand, 60-year-old to the handstand, their first time, tears will come to their eyes because they've done something physically they've never done before. Our goal is to empower our coaches to then, therefore, empower your people. And we deliver a lesson plan. We deliver education and understanding. You know, and, and it's, I think it's really hard for some of our app, for our coaches and athletes because we push the envelope. We do things like we sometimes do warm ups that have nothing to do with the workout that day. We work on skills that are that are maybe coming in later in the week. We push the envelope from variants where we actually do repetition sometimes. We're like last week we did uh, some thrusters and a two rep max thruster. This week we're gonna do a one rep max thruster because it's important for us as owners and, and coaches to to show results. And to show that your athletes are getting stronger, whatever it might be. And, you know, I, I get really passionate about this because I know that if you were to say, hey, Austin, you know, why the hand plan? It's like, well, because no, one's, no one can deliver a better understanding of education than our team. No one can deliver a better idea of how to implement the programming. And that's the most important part of the programming. The, the workouts pale into comparison. Because, and, and how do I know this? Because I can go into any gym and coach a class with a very simple workout. And by the end of that class, I know that everyone's going to have enjoyed it. But then I'll get, you know, if you get some feedback, well, I mean, I'm really struggling, you know, with, you know coaching and implementing a, a program like this. Well, that's, it's not the programming, it's the coaching. So our goal is to empower the coaches. So it's a different take. It's not, we're going to make a program that's easy. 
we're going to challenge you and push you. I talked to someone yesterday that moved from one gym that had a great coach, a seminar staff coach. And then they said to me, I went to the gym that's right down my road and I stopped going because I expect top notch coaching. I expect what I used to have. I don't have that anymore. So it's not, I'm not going to spend that kind of money for a quality of product that I know is not what, what, what I should be getting for that type of money. And I was like, you're right. And that is hard to find. You need to separate yourself that way. So it's funny if someone asked me like, well, if what if I want to do this programming, what about other gyms locally? It's like my goal, and this is obviously a selfish goal, is like I want everyone to follow our programming because I know if that's the case, the gyms that will separate themselves will be the coaching, then everyone will get better. By proxy, everyone will, will, will raise up and it becomes other variables that separate and it becomes your coaching, your education, your knowledge, your community, your feel. Every gym's a little different. And that's really one of my goals. And, and we put a lot of pride into that. Um, and again, I, this is not a knock on anyone else. This is just me talking about how I believe what we're doing is the best because of the education and knowledge that we put into our work. We pour our life and souls into those lesson plans and for our affiliates. And then, you know, and then dovetailing into our competitors, our competitors follow the main workout, but then myself, James, and Spencer add more work around that to prepare our athletes with appropriate volume. We're 10 years in, so we get we understand the differences for goals, and that's why we have volume guidelines based off goals. There's so many different factors there, but our competitor programming is always evolving, just like the competitor landscape. Um, and it is a very it's a very different product. But what we truly believe is, if you're in a gym, you should be working out with your classes, um, and that's something that we we really we really push, and that's why our, our workouts dovetail together. Um, and, the, and, and if you take a look at some of our competitor stuff, you'll notice that it's all to predicate in your goals. Everyone shouldn't be doing the same program, all the same volume, because you might not be there. Like the last episode, it takes some time. So we actually kind of give a ramping up process there, but it all comes back. We scale and we give targets because we know that the workout itself is important, but it still you still need some level of understanding of how to implement it. And so even in our competitor programming, you see that knowledge and education trying to seep through to the best of our ability without working with you one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so, you know, really that's, uh, that's uh, we're, we're about under 20 minutes. I wanted to, to hop on that and really just talk about why I truly believe what we do and I'm passionate about it because I know that no one with the handful, exception of a handful of people can do what we do as coaches. And, and our goal is to transmit that to everybody that's why I do this podcast because I, I, I get passionate about it. It's why we program. That's why we have the coaching development program. It's why we do seminars because we truly want to help. Uh, we want to get people better. And the people that follow the program, I love them. They're the family because and, and they, they give us feedback. They push us. They make us better. And we will never stop doing that. And, and you know, and if you have if you want more information on this, just let me know if you ha are at a gym. And you want to, you know, you know, we'll give your affiliate a, a month of our programming to try it out. And you know, and you might not even try it out. You might just need a month to take a look at it, and then and then dive in. Hop on a phone call with me, and we'll talk about it. I talk to every one of our affiliates. I offer my time up because I truly believe that what we're doing is, is special. Um, so let me know if you need help. Let me know if you want it. Obviously, it's a product. Obviously, we're selling something. But that aside, you know, I'm passionate about it to to make it worth your while, and I will give you my time and our time so you can help better your people, keep your people safe, get them better, and do it in a timely fashion. So I don't often talk about it solely, but I wanted to, to dive in a little bit. I was passionate about it, and someone asked me a question. I was like, you know, I'm just going to talk about it on a podcast. So hopefully I didn't bore you guys. I'll come, you know, we'll hop back on something else next week. I got to hop back into my life story, so that's what will be uh, next week. I'll, um, I'll pick up where we left off the last one. All right, guys, work hard, have fun. I really appreciate the time. Appreciate the support. See you out there.